Now the story of what's being hailed as a medical breakthrough. A new clinical study is looking at how computer chips implanted in the brain can provide life-changing results for paralyzed patients. CBS News correspondent David Begno introduces us to the study's first participant who's doing things he never thought possible. Hey. Nice to meet you. I have never walked into an interview looking more forward to shake someone's hand than I was to meet Keith Thomas. Can you feel that? Yes. Three summers ago, he broke his neck and was paralyzed from the chest down. He was 42 years old. When I first got home, I didn't get out of bed. I got out of bed once a day for six months. Thomas says at home, he was giving up hope. But then hope arrived in the form of a medical study conducted by Northwell Health in New York. Thomas was wheeled into surgery. And while remaining awake and alert. What do you feel there, Keith? Fingers? Which finger? Two or other one? Five small chips were implanted into his brain. It's called a double neuro bypass. So now we're connecting to the brain. Those chips can now send and interpret signals from his brain to his damaged spinal cord and to his hands and back to his brain. The result is that Thomas's thoughts can now control new movement in his hands. Now, much of the new sensations Thomas feels only happen in the lab with the help of a new computer connected to his skull. But there is something remarkable happening even when he's not attached to that. So like the rest I can feel without this. So paralyzed areas can relearn? Yes. Yes. Engineer Chad Bouton says among the most exciting aspects of the study is the progress Thomas has made when he's not at the lab. We think it's the combination of the electrical stimulation that activates those damaged circuits that are in the spinal cord. Uh, and then we believe it's starting to strengthen those connections. There's a saying that uh, neurons that fire together wire together. We think that's part of what's happening. What's the most extraordinary thing you've been able to do thanks to this? Scratch my face. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully eventually wipe my tears away. Sometimes the biggest progress comes in the smallest steps forward. In his case, a reminder of what it feels like to feel. David Begno, CBS News, New York. Beautiful, what it feels like to feel. What it feels like to feel. He's from Massapequa, Mr. Right. Thomas, and we just, gosh, continue to uh, wish him. Yeah, and what they do at Northwell Health, the, the astonishing things on Long Island, the medical advances that are being made so quickly, and we wish him all the best.